Hey everybody, it's Keith Couch with Rocky Mountain Peterbilt's on YouTube and Rush Truck Centers, Greeley, Colorado. Got a new, this one's not for sale, I just wanted to show it. This one's owned by Peterbilt, so we got it for a few days here. Uh, Platinum Edition, 589 flat top, 72 inch flat top. So I just wanted to show it off, it looks really good. Um, you can see the heavy haul back there in white. That's got the stand up or the mid roof sleeper on it with the ultra cab, which is a lot more room up there and everything. But just like the 389s, the flat tops always look better. Uh, so, this is an extended hood 72 inch flat top. Um, beautiful truck. It's in legendary red with legendary black fenders. And what that means is dang near like a bass boat as far as the glitter just absolutely gorgeous all the metal flake in the legendary paint but we're not here to talk about paint we want to talk about the the truck um, 589 which is the new model that replaced the uh, 389 Didn't want to get hugely in depth on this, but we might. It, it is true dual exhaust, as you can see there. You can see it's true dual exhaust. Uh, this one actually has a Packard engine in it. I'll open that up. Last year they had a lot of problems with injectors. That problem has been fixed. Um, Packard engine is a good engine. It's really quiet. Good torque. So that's that's the Packar engine. Air ride steer axle. The big differences here as you can see. I don't like it. I like using it, but it's the one piece windshield. When you're sitting behind the windshield, it is nice. But when you take rocks into the windshield, it's not so nice. So this is a glued-in windshield. You can't rope them in or rope them out anymore. Um, can't just keep spare ones with you. They're just too doggone big. So that's just the way the world's going, and it's just the way it is. I, I kind of like the old two-piece windshield myself, and for a cost perspective, I get it. You can see what they did with the air breathers here. Kind of French them in. I'm not going to get terribly in depth because I already did one of these, but it was on a stand up sleeper. They've got the injector issues fixed with these uh, Packard engines now. They seem to be doing okay as of January 1st of 2024. So that should, uh, should not be an issue anymore. So I thought I'd just show you that I believe this is a 510 1850 torque oh and you can still see still see that rib down the middle this this hood is still aluminum had some guys in here yesterday that said they're really disappointed that they didn't keep the aluminum hood and they did keep the aluminum hood def tank 90 gallon on this side. I won't go through all the specs. This isn't a truck. This is not how I would spec the truck if it was me and putting it on our lot. So I'd have a rear window in the back there. They did put the antenna on the center of the back of the sleeper, which is nice. Seventy-two inch flat top. I'll take you on the inside of this. All LED lighting. This one's on low pro 22 fives. Disc brakes all the way around. Jost fifth wheel. Good looking truck. The flat tops look really nice. Let's see if we can get it straight on. And if you look at the uh, grill, see these long rectangular holes? That's exactly what the 359s had years ago. 
Good look at the front of the truck. This is a nice looking truck. These flat tops are gorgeous. Should be able to order them now. Platinum interior. This one weighs 18.7. You can see this one's also a automated transmission. You could call it an automatic, but technically it's an automated. And here's where you're gonna see the differences between those seats. A lot more automotive technology in these with the doors. And here's your difference. I mean, there's a ton of room. Get the dash fired up here. Down visors, factory CD. Pull cord for the air horn. Power windows. This one does not have navigation. So that's the maximum number of gauges you can get. The rest of them, you gotta put them in here. Looks like it's got full lockers. Some USB ports. And like I said, this, this is where, from side to side here, tons of room. Got a small seam coming into the sleeper. And in a flat top, now we have a fridge. You guys have been wanting that. And it's nice, big, open. You know, it doesn't feel claustrophobic in here at all. S bar bunk heater, heater controls. Just a really, really nice flat top sleeper in really nice trim. Got a place for a TV over here. All of this is in a 72 flat top. You've got a mirror and a little closet there. Place for a microwave. Just for a flat top, this is a huge, huge improvement. And there's your distance between your seats there. I'm a 389 guy and I'm I know a lot of guys are like, oh, I'm never leaving the 389s, but once you drive one of these and you hear the difference in quietness uh, and just the way this thing goes down the road is just absolutely beautiful. It is, they are incredibly nice trucks. Incredibly nice. This one's got a Endurant XD Pro, 18 speed in it. There's your shifting. You just flip it forward to drive, backward to reverse. Um, and then for the Jake brake, you just you just pull it down. It's got detents. And you can see what happens here on the dash. Two, three, max. That's not gonna show up to the six not going, but very, very, very nice truck. And if you're gonna, if you're a flat top guy, coming out of a 389 flat top, moving into this, that sleeper is really nice. So I just thought I'd share this one with you. Not a super duper in depth technical uh, video, but I just wanted to share it. Uh, first flat top that we've had. So hopefully we can get some sales off of this, get things going, kind of get back. Hopefully the open owner operators can get back going again and we get some big horsepower, big torque, big gears. You still put the 18 manual in this. Um, and kind of do our spec to what we normally do here in Greeley. So appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the support on the channel so like and subscribe that, that always just helps um, one other thing I might add is if you want additional cab lights we got to put two over here and two over here that balances and makes it look good so 
that's what we would do there. But again, thank you guys. Appreciate your time. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Take care.